Hello, watch enthusiasts. Get ready to get into an exciting journey through the intricate world of timekeeping in our latest exploration of the watch market update. As we navigate this thrilling terrain, we'll delve into the fascinating interplay of tradition and innovation, the ebb and flow of trends, and the ever-present question, what happens next in the watch market? This video is your exclusive backstage pass to the watch market update extravaganza. We'll traverse the landscape, examining the timeless elegance of traditional watchmaking and the cutting-edge technology of smartwatches. It's a roller coaster ride through an industry that seamlessly blends craftsmanship with modernity, and we're here to decode the twists, turns, and surprises that keep the gears of innovation ticking. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of what lies ahead in the ever evolving and endlessly fascinating watch industry. Ready for a time traveling adventure? Let's dive into the captivating journey that awaits. Welcome to another episode of The Steady Ticker. Do you have a soft spot for watches? Subscribe now to The Steady Ticker and click the notification bell to keep posted on all the latest news on different luxury watch brands and its industry. We create content on trivias, intricacies, history and anything under the weather about luxury watch brands and their models. In this video, we are exploring the mysteries of the watch market and discovering what's in store for our wrist companions. Get ready for a journey through taking trends and wrist wear wonders. Let's first zoom in on the current state of the watch market. It's a whole new ball game. Remember the days when getting your hands on a luxury timepiece felt like winning the lottery? Well, guess what? The tables have turned. Availability is the name of the game now, and it's creating ripples across the watch world. Picture this. Once scarce Rolex models, the kind that used to have wait lists longer than a novel, are now casually sitting on display at authorized dealers. It's like spotting a shooting star. Rare, but not impossible. And it's not just Rolex. Other brands are joining the party too. Those watches that were once hidden gems in the secondary market are now stepping into the limelight at prices that won't make your wallet scream in protest. Let's talk specifics. The green dialed Seamaster 300M. Remember when that felt like a mythical creature? Now, it's a stroll in the park. The IWC Ingenieur, no longer a mythical beast either. You can probably have it within a month. And the Reverso Chrono? Not stuck on some ever-ending waitlist. It's a much more accessible story now. Now let's dig a little deeper into the reasons behind these seismic shifts in the watch market. It's not just a case of supply and demand. There are multiple layers to this complex puzzle. First up, let's talk economics. Inflation is rearing its head, and consumer spending power isn't what it used to be. With rising prices on everyday essentials, luxury watches might not be topping everyone's shopping list anymore. And when wallets tighten, demand naturally wanes, leading to a surplus of watches in the market. But that's not the whole story. Watchmakers themselves have played a significant role in creating this supply-demand imbalance. During the heyday of 2019 to 22, manufacturers were churning out watches faster than ever before, flooding the market with new releases and driving up prices to unprecedented levels. It was a classic case of supply outstripping demand and now we're seeing the fallout. Moreover, let's not forget about consumer behavior. With more options available than ever before, buyers are becoming savvier, questioning whether the hefty price tags of luxury timepieces are truly justified. The allure of exclusivity is fading, replaced by a desire for value and transparency from watchmakers. So there you have it, a perfect storm of economic factors, manufacturer missteps and shifting consumer preferences has culminated in the current state of the watch market. But fear not, for understanding the why behind these changes is the first step towards navigating this brave new watch market. Next up, the crystal ball and ponder, the future of the watch market. Will the current trends continue, or are we in for a wild ride of ups and downs? Firstly, let's talk about the bullwhip effect. Imagine a whip cracking. That's what happens when a small movement at the handle creates a big wave at the tip. Similarly, in the watch market, a slight uptick in demand can lead to manufacturers overproducing, anticipating even higher demand. But when reality sets in and demand doesn't meet expectations, we're left with a surplus of watches and, you guessed it, continued price decreases. But hold your hosses, because while sustained adjustments are likely, a market crash isn't necessarily on the horizon. You see, the watch market, like any other, is cyclical. What goes up must come down, but what comes down also has the potential to bounce back up. It's a dance of supply and demand, economics and consumer behavior, with twists and turns that keep us on our toes. So what does this mean for you, the watch enthusiast? 
Well, expect more of the same. Availability increasing, prices stabilizing, and perhaps even more discounts to be had. But remember, nothing in the watch market is set in stone. Trends come and go, brands rise and fall, but one thing remains constant, the enduring appeal of a finely crafted timepiece. Let's shift our focus now to how both manufacturers and consumers are responding to the changing tides of the watch market. It's a tale of adaptation and innovation on both sides of the equation. First up, manufacturers. In the face of evolving market conditions, they're having to rethink their game plan. One key strategy, pricing. It's time for a reality check. Consumers aren't as willing to shell out big bucks as they once were, so watchmakers need to tread carefully, maintaining brand value while ensuring their timepieces remain accessible. But it's not just about price. Product differentiation is key. By offering unique features and designs, manufacturers can carve out their niche in a crowded market. And let's not forget about marketing. In an era of endless options, brands need to stand out from the crowd, captivating consumers with compelling storytelling and innovative campaigns. Now let's flip the script and talk about you, the consumer. There is a quiet revolution happening in the watch world, with more and more enthusiasts turning to niche brands for their watch fix. These smaller players are offering competitive value propositions, delivering quality craftsmanship at a fraction of the price. Take Formex, for example, or Christopher Ward. These brands are shaking up the status quo, appealing to price-conscious consumers who refuse to compromise on quality. But what does this mean for the broader watch market? Well, it's a wake-up call for the established brands. With consumers flocking to niche alternatives, the pressure is on for big-name manufacturers to innovate and adapt. The days of resting on past laurels are over. It's time to roll up the sleeves and get creative. It's now time to indulge in a bit of speculation about the fate of high-end watch brands in this ever-shifting landscape. With the market moving the way it is, what might happen to those big-name players that have long dominated the scene? Well, here's the tea. We could see a bit of a shake-up, especially for those peripheral high-end brands that haven't quite reached household name status. Think Hublot, Richard Mille and Jean. While they've had their moments in the spotlight, they might find themselves under more pressure as consumer preferences shift towards established giants like Patek, Philippe and Rolex. After all, when times get tough, it's the brands with a solid reputation and a loyal following that tend to weather the storm. But here's the kicker. Amidst all this uncertainty, one thing remains constant. Customer loyalty. When push comes to shove, it's those tried and true brands that customers keep coming back to time and time again. Whether it's the timeless elegance of a Patek Philippe or the rugged reliability of a Rolex, there's something about these brands that just speaks to us on a different level. So while the winds of change might be blowing, don't count out on the powerhouses of the watch world just yet. They've weathered the storms before and they'll likely weather this one too. And that's the end of our journey through the ever-changing watch market, uncovering fascinating insights and speculating on what lies ahead. From the recent shift in availability to the underlying reasons driving these changes, we've explored the dynamic nature of an industry influx. But amidst the uncertainty, one thing is clear adaptation is key. Whether you're a manufacturer navigating changing market dynamics or a consumer seeking the perfect timepiece, flexibility and innovation are the name of the game. It's a reminder that in an ever-evolving landscape, those who can pivot and embrace change will ultimately thrive. As we wrap up this exploration, we encourage you to join the conversation. Share your thoughts, insights and perspectives in the comments below. After all, it's your engagement that drives the discussion forward and enriches our understanding of this fascinating world. And finally, let's not forget the cyclical nature of consumer behavior and market trends. Just as the tides ebb and flow, so too do the preferences of watch enthusiasts and the fortunes of watch brands. So while we may have unraveled some mysteries today, who knows what the future holds? Stay tuned, stay curious, and keep ticking along with us on the Steady Ticker. Want to hear more about watches? Hit the subscribe button below to support the Steady Ticker channel and click the notification bell to instantly know about our new videos on luxury watches. See you in the next one.